Ibu, Dr. Hilmi's mouth got a hole. Kali, don't be rude. But that's what you tell me when I drop my food. I'm sorry, I... I don't know why I'm so clumsy today. Come, come, come. Hmm. It's okay, come. Hmm? I help you, huh? No, it's okay. I, I don't want to eat already. Oh, you No appetite. You must eat more, okay? Come. Open your mouth. Hmm. Come, sorry. Hmm. Open your mouth. Sorry. Hmm. 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 So hear me. So old already still need you need to feed you. Khaled, what did I say? But it's true. Ibu, why don't I help chill me with this food so you can finish your breakfast? Hmm? No need. Kak, who's that? Um, uh, nobody. Coffee, anyone? I'm so bored. I'd be bored too if I had to face the dim with the husband of yours. I'm bored because he's not around. Jules is on reserves in Australia. How come you only visit when you're bored? You used to drop by before out of concern for me. What does it matter, Derek? I'm here, aren't I? It matters a lot. I'm not some minor distraction. I used to be the center of your universe. Well, my universe has expanded. I have loads on my mind nowadays. Boyson's still not talking to me. He'll come round once his little business venture failed. Don't say that about Boyson. Let's not talk about him. You get all upset. Amuse me, Derek. Tell me a funny joke or something. <laughs> a joke? Whatever for? Well, it's been really depressing lately. This poor Adam and poor Jess. What's going on, Celia? Nothing. I'm going to get myself some tea. At the rate you hear me dropping his food, he might not be eating enough and getting all the nutrients he needs. He's just sleepy today. He didn't get enough sleep last night. Better make sure Chihimi finishes all his meals. Has he been doing the exercises they taught him at the hospital? Of course. Don't worry, Rave. I'll make sure he eats well and does his exercises. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Okay. You mind your manners with to heal me. Understand? Yes, Ibu. I'm going to the office. I'll be back by lunch. You behave. Can I go downstairs to play with Tokyo Mi? Okay, but no rough play and make sure you don't leave your toys lying around the floor. Why? Tokyo Mi is old. What if he trips over your toys and falls? You don't want that to happen, right? Okay, boo. Help me. Yes. Get up. It's time to do the exercise. No, no, no. What exercise? I want to sleep. The exercises they taught you at the hospital. So I said you have to do it every day. But you never do. That's why you are not getting better. Well, I'm so tired. How to exercise? Do you want to get better or not? I want. But my back is aching. Your back is aching because you have been lying in bed the whole day. No blood circulation. I'm so sleepy. I want to sleep. Yeah, me. Be good. I'll exercise with you, okay? You won't take long. Half an hour only. You can go back to sleep after that. 15 minutes. Okay, okay, 15 minutes. Abang. Do you think Che Helmi seems to be deteriorating quite badly? He could barely eat today. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, and I mentioned that I was home to Ibu yesterday. How did she take it? Very badly. But taking care of him is only going to make her worse. Sarah, are you still trying to break them up? No. You're finally accepting Ibu's dementia? I mean, do I have a choice? I just hate the idea that the dementia is taking our Ibu away from us. Zara, there will be good days and bad days. We have to remember all the good times. 
And when the bad days come around, we need to remind ourselves that's not our real Ibu. It's just so hard. Yeah, I know. But as long as nobody gets hurt, let's just focus on making her days as happy as we can. How many uh, rounds have we walked already? Nine rounds. Okay, let's make it ten, okay? Huh? One more round, okay? One more round? Double. <laughs> don't be lazy. Oh, I, I cannot. I, I, I don't have strength already. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you this discount, okay? We walk just one more small round, okay? Oh, me, you can do it. I need to sit down. Oh, okay, uh, let's go to the sofa and rest. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Today you walk nine rounds. Tomorrow you must walk ten rounds, okay? Oh. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, then see. <laughs> uh, can, can you get us some water, please? Okay. Thank you. Hi, Chit Hilmi. It's good to see you up and about. Uh, no thanks to her. She forced me to. Come out and exercise. It's for your own good. Yeah. Well, when is lunch? I'm hungry. I stopped by Rosa's cafe on the way home and she packed something for you. Oh. oh. Ah, thank you, Khalid. You're such a good boy. Shall we have lunch? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm starving. <sighs> it's OK. I can manage. <laughs> hey! How come so wet? Don't talk nonsense. It's just water. Hey, it's baby. I think Che Hilmi had a little accident. Oh, you made Billy's bed so Khalid, gross. Not so loud, Khalid. Uh, help me bring my blanket downstairs for me. Uh, sure, are you taking them out to sun? No, I'm going to sleep here from today onwards. What? Excuse me? Someone has to keep an eye on him at night. What if he falls down going to the toilet? Abang can do it. Abang can move back to his room and sleep downstairs. Your Abang is working. He needs to get proper rest. He can't take care of Hilmi at night. Yeah, I'm at the hospital most of the time anyway. I won't be able to look after him. Okay, Ibu, whatever it is, you are not sleeping downstairs. Okay? Okay, Zara, give me back my pillows. No. Zara, I want my pillows. No. Zara, give me back. Zarif, I need to talk to you. I think I know why your Ibu wants to move downstairs to be nearer to chill me. Why? He had a little accident on the sofa earlier. Don't tell me he's beginning to have incontinent issues. Seems like it. I'll get some adult diapers from JFPH. Shira, can you keep an eye on Ibu and Chihomi? I need to work on my research paper. The only place I can get any peace and quiet is at the hospital. I'm on leave this afternoon. I can keep an eye on them. Thanks. Call me if anything. I won't. Just focus on your paper. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, your car can go very fast, huh? Yeah, it's faster than Spinster Mac King. Mm. And it's a photo finish. Wow, oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, my car! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. It's not working anymore. Oh, what's wrong with it? Is the tire punctured? Let me see. You spoke my car, go away. Khalid, what's going on? Ibu! Don't help me spill water on my car and spoil it. Khalid, stop whining. It's a new car. Okay, okay, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> How much is it? Let me pay for it. Don't worry about it, Chi. I'll get him a new one. Don't help me. You're so clumsy. I don't want to play with you anymore. Khalid, come back here. Hello. Why so happy? Why so cranky? Well, I'll tell you why. 
Yesterday, my ibu broke down when I told her about putting Chit Helmi in a nursing home. Today, she wants to move downstairs to sleep on the sofa so she can watch over him. Oh. So you're still determined to break them up? Yes! No, I mean... No, I don't know. I, I, I know I've been upset about the whole dementia thing. Look, I know you have a hard time accepting that Jadina is not the evil you used to know. Yeah, well, I'm just really starting to accept it now. I just feel really bad for Chit Nadia. I want my Ibu to be happy. I just feel like it's at the expense of Chit Nadia. Maybe you can work something out with Chit Elmi. Maybe if he remembers her, he can spend time with both Chit Adina and Chit Nadia. Yeah, well, he keeps telling me that he can't remember her. It's probably your approach. Maybe try a different way. Be gentler, softer. Okay, I'm on it. Hello? Chit Elmi? Hello, Zara. You remember me? Of course. Why would I forget? <laughs> Jay, help me. Can I borrow your phone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Jay, help me. Do you remember Chit Nadia? Nadia? Your wife and your daughters. Daughters? Mm -hmm. it? Are you still angry with Tohilmi? He spoiled my car! I hit him! It was an accident. Tohilmi didn't do it on purpose. I want you to apologize for yelling at him. No! Khalid. I don't want to go near Tohilmi. He's so gross, he peed in his pants. Khalid, listen. Don't help me, couldn't help it. He can't control his bladder because he's very sick. Huh? He peed in his pants because he's sick? Don't help me has something called vascular dementia. Sometimes people with dementia don't know they have to pee until it's too late. Last time? I also beat in my pants. Does that mean I have dementia too? No. Dementia is a disease that affects mainly old people. Ibu, will to help me get better? I hope so. In the meantime, you can be nicer to him to make him feel better. Okay, I'll be super nice to help me. I won't laugh at him anymore. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh. It's me, Adina. I know. What's wrong? This is wrong. Sorry, Adina. I cannot be with you. Why do you say that? I, I don't know. I, I just know we cannot be together. It's... Wrong. Who told you we cannot be together? Is it Zara? Did she come and catch you again? I told her so many times to leave you alone. Zara, what did you tell Helmi? Ibu, I'm sorry. I want to see you happy. I just think it's best that Che Helmi and his wife sort their issues first. You know, maybe when they get a divorce, then you and he can be together. Stop saying he's married. My Helmi is not married. You just want to break us up because you and Razali are not happy. Just because you are getting a divorce doesn't mean everybody else also has to get a divorce. You think I don't know? You are jobless and useless. That's why Razali kicked you out. You have nowhere else to go. That's why you are here. What are you talking about? Razali shouldn't have married you. You can't even make him happy. You don't deserve him. Chi. Chi, come. Let's go back to your room and rest, okay? I'll make you some tea. You're just tired. Go on. Okay, Khaled, do you remember what you have to say to tell me? Um, Khaled, 
Dr. Helmi looks like he needs a rest. Maybe we come back later? Dr. Helmi, are you OK? I'm sorry, Dr. Helmi. I shouldn't have yelled at you just now. <laughs> It was my fault. I spoiled your new car. I promise I won't call you a baby or make fun of you anymore. You calling me baby? You are the baby. Don't hear me. <laughs> I'm not the baby. Gee, you look tired. Do you want to go back to the room? Yeah, okay, can. Oh, help me. Let me help you. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. You're a strong baby. <laughs> This while Ibu thinks what happened between me and Razali is all my fault. It's her dementia. Okay, you can't take what she said to heart. People with dementia have no filter because they speak their mind and they say what they really feel. You know, I thought Ibu supported my decision to leave Razali. But behind my back, she blames me for what happened. Your Ibu's just confused about Razali because of her dementia. It got worse after she witnessed the stabbing. Yeah, okay, memory's all messed up. I remember how she thought I was not good enough for him. Even when I was on the verge of breaking down, saving the marriage was the only thing on her mind. She even... She even pretended to be on my side to help him spy on me. That's only because your Ibu was taken in by Razali. He misled her. The moment she realised she had been manipulated by him, she regretted what she did. You know, say what you want. Ibu has never been on my side. She hates me. Shira. Yeah, looking for me? You look exhausted. Don't even start. I've had a terrible day. What is it? I've been thinking about Chihomi. Maybe we should take him to the hospital. Because of the incontinence. Not just that. It's been almost two months since his minor stroke. But his walking is still unstable and he seems to be losing dexterity. I noticed it too. You think his dementia is progressing? Probably. Or it could be some underlying condition we're not aware of. In that case, it's better we bring Chek Helmi to the hospital and get him checked out. Helmi is fine. He doesn't need to go to the hospital. Ibu, it's better for Chek Helmi to go for a thorough checkup. Make sure he's okay. Is it because of what happened this morning? He was tired after his exercise. That's why he let go on the sofa. Shira, you were there. You saw how tired he was. Gee, Zaris, right. It's better for Chihelmi to go for a checkup. It's just an excuse to take him away. All of you don't want us to be together. I don't care. My helmet is not going anywhere. Ibu, listen. You think I don't know? You're not taking him to the hospital. You're sending him to the nursing home. Tell me? Yes. Sorry about Alia. What happened, Alia? Never mind. Tell me, do you really want to be with Maybu? Of course. She's my. She's my everything. Well, in that case, I. I won't stand in your way then if you really want to be with her. Really? I can be with my Adina? Sure, as long as it makes the both of you happy. Don't worry. I swear, I will make your Ibu the most happiest woman in the world. She will be so happy. She will be smiling and laughing every day. Zara, what are you doing here? Are you going to take away my helmet too? Get up. Get out. He's not going anywhere. He's not going to the hospital. He's not going to a nursing home. I agree. We should take Shihami to the hospital. 
She and Nadia left him in our care. If anything happens to him, it's on us. But Ibu freaked out. I don't want to stress her out. It's not good for her dementia. Nini also has dementia? What is Ibu going on about? Who is taking Chi Elmi to the hospital? Your Abang thinks it's best that Chi Elmi gets a thorough checkup. There might be something else wrong with him. Well, if she doesn't want anything to happen to her Helmi, she has to let him go to the hospital. Someone has to tell her that. Hey, Zara. How did it go with Chi Elmi? I just called to check in. Call me if you need to talk. Mom. What, son? Are you okay? What happened? Jules broke up with me. What? Jules wants to leave me. He wants a divorce. Ibu, it's me, Zarif. Can I come in? This is about Elmi. Let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with him. Ibu, the incontinence is a sign of his dementia progressing. Also, I suspect he might have had a mini stroke. What? Ibu, if you care about Chi Elmi, you have to let me bring him to the hospital and find out what's wrong with him. Please. Ibu. You are not sending him away to a nursing home, right? We're just going to the hospital. Will my Helmi be okay? So won't you save me from myself? I this walls I want you to move in with me. You make me the happiest mother of all mothers. But I'll be near Dad 24-7. It's the nightmare of all nightmares. You know how I hate to be all by my lonesome self? At least come by and take a look. If you hate it, I'll never mention it again. Do it for me, Louis. My life has been so miserable since Jules asked for that divorce. All right, Mom. I'll come over. Wonderful. See you later. What sort of harebrained scheme is this? 